Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. You know what I think it's time for? A spare parts PC build-off. So what is a spare parts PC build-off? Well, I challenged two other YouTubers to build the best PC they can with their spare parts. Now let me introduce those two other channels. Over here on the left, we have Kyle from PC Flippin', and over here on the right, we have Kevin from Skyway Tech Reviews. Now, I started this challenge, and the reason I picked these two YouTubers is a couple reasons. First reason is I think they put out really good content, especially for the size channel they are. Two, I really thought it'd be fun to do a collab, and three, they both seemed like they might have the spare parts to put up a good fight. So definitely go check out their channels. I will link in the description where you can find them and they are going to be posting their own videos and introductions about this challenge and they will be posting videos about their builds and their benchmark results. Now every challenge has to have some rules and us being small YouTube channels, I thought it would be best if we did something very budget friendly. And what's more budget friendly than not having to buy any parts? So. Rule one is you have to use parts you already have and they cannot be cannibalized from any existing systems. For example, I cannot pull the graphics card or processor out of my computer or my wife's computer to run in this challenge. So I can only use parts that are already sitting on the shelf. Rules number two and three are designed to kind of even the playing field a little bit. So rule number two is you have to use a DDR3 or lower based platform. You can't use a more modern DDR4 based platform. Rule number three is you can't use any 10 series or higher NVIDIA cards or 5000 series or higher AMD cards. Um, there are some exceptions I would be happy to make. Like I don't think it's unreasonable to use a GTX 1060 or 1050, but Anything like a 1070 and higher is really going to eliminate the whole budget aspect of this challenge. And on the AMD side, any RX 5000 series or higher, I think would also kind of negate the uh, budget side of things. I did say we could use uh, Vega graphics cards if we have them, which might be kind of the top tier if anyone has them. I personally do not. Um, and the RX 500 and 400 series, not 5000 series from AMD are within reach and anything below those are perfectly fine. All right, so now that the rules are out of the way, we have to go into how we're going to compare our computers. First way is through benchmarks. We will all be performing benchmarks on our own computers and we have a series of benchmarks that we will be going through. The way we are going to score this is the person with the highest score in each benchmark will set the 100% standard. Everyone else's scores will be marked as a percentage of that 100% threshold, and then we will be moving them to a one to 10 point score. So say I got a score of 100 in Cinebench single core performance, and then the next person got a 70. What we would do then is I would get 10 points, and the next person would get seven points, and then we add those up throughout the benchmarks to see what our benchmark scores are. That is only 50% of the challenge though. The next 50% is going to be based on aesthetics, creativity, things like that. Something that really sets your build apart, which really gives anyone who has lesser hardware an opportunity to overcome any deficits they have. And that score will be judged by somebody that is to be named in the future. We're actually hoping to find a larger YouTube channel to uh, do the judging. So if there's a channel that you think we should reach out to, definitely let us know in the comments below. As for the benchmarks, I have a list here of the ones we will be running so you guys can have an idea of what to expect in future videos. First up, we have Cinebench R15 and we will be doing multi-core and single core performance. Then we come to Realbench. I've actually never used this benchmark, so that's gonna be interesting, but that's our next benchmark. We are going to be using Fire Strike Regular. We're not gonna be doing Ultra or Extreme. Again, these are budget spare parts builds, so we aren't really trying to get that top echelon of performance. Um, we will be running Heaven, that is a staple in all benchmarking, and it really still does hold up well today. Uh, we will be using Far Cry 5 for our more modern game to test, especially since it has a built-in benchmark that really helps us out. Next up is Star Swarm. Now that's an old test and all of the computers we build should be able to handle it just fine, but it's another free one to keep it within the budget idea of the whole challenge and we can all run it with relative ease and have a nice comparison there. 
Um, another game we're gonna be running, another old one that was nice and cheap, in keeping with the theme of the challenge, is Dirt 3. Again, we should all be able to run it just fine, but it's another example of something we can have consistency across. And last but not least is Just Cause 2. Now, the game itself isn't free, but the benchmark in the demo is. So that's another thing keeping in theme with the whole budget idea that we can all measure ourselves against. All right, now that we've gotten some of the specifics of the challenge out of the way, I wanna go into a little bit of depth as to what I might pick for my components. Now, obviously, I can only pick what's on this shelf behind me. Now, I should be fine as far as power supplies go. Um, if I get something really high end, if I make a really power hungry computer, I might actually have to daisy chain a couple of them together. Um, RAM, I am covered just fine on. Uh, CPU and GPU cooling is a little bit waffly. But first, we're gonna jump right into the platforms I might consider using. Now, there are three potential platforms I might use. I have one motherboard that is LGA 2011 X79, and I have one CPU for it. That is an i7-3930K. It is a six core, 12 thread, Sandy Bridge based CPU. And that is arguably my most powerful CPU that I can use. However, I don't like the form factor of the motherboard. It's micro ATX. I actually love micro ATX, but it doesn't really fit into my idea of what I have for the actual computer build itself. Second, I have one potentially working X58 motherboard. I have three motherboards, but only one of them might be working. I actually bought it and haven't tested it yet. I bought it, I don't know, a few weeks ago because I was planning on doing a video comparing uh, X58 to AMD's 990FX. I do have up to, I think, five different CPUs I can use in there. Let's see here. Yes, I have two different i7s, a 930 and a 950 that I can use. Both of those are four cores and eight threads. I have two Xeons that are four cores and eight threads as well. And I have one six core Xeon, six cores and 12 threads that I might be able to use. Unfortunately, that CPU is not listed in the CPU support list for this motherboard. So there's a chance it might not work. Next up is the AMD platform that I might go with. Now you guys might be thinking, Matt, you're crazy. An AMD AM3 Plus platform is just a bottleneck and you'd probably be right. But I have a soft spot in my heart for this platform. This is the platform I first built in. I bought myself the cheapest AM3 Plus motherboard and FX 4130 when I built my first computer. It wasn't my first computer, but it's the first one I built. So, and I really, really like overclocking these processors. It's a lot of fun. So what I have is the Asus uh, Crosshair 5 formula. I actually bought this a long time ago so I could do uh, overclocking videos and live streams for the channel, which I still plan to do. Now, some of the things I lose are triple channel memory support and I the best processor I have for this right now is an FX8320 which could be a problem. I have overclocked it before but the highest I could get was 4.7 gigahertz. Now that we've got our platforms out of the way let's cover graphics cards. I kind of want to get creative with this but I also want to win the performance so we have a little bit of an issue here. My first graphics card that is probably going to be my best option is this GTX 780 Ti that you saw in one of our previous videos. It is already water cooled, which means if I ran this, I would have to run a custom loop, which is going to complicate things dramatically. But it is by far the best performing spare GPU I have right now. So this is probably our best option and it's a pretty good performer. So I'm, I'm not that worried about losing if I run this graphics card, but the custom loop does complicate things quite a bit. Next up is kind of the only other real option I have to run with and that is my HD 7970. As you can see, it's missing part of the coolers, so I would have to strap fans to it, which would make it lose a lot of its aesthetic appeal, which is definitely a big part of this challenge, considering that is 50% of your score. And it also doesn't perform as well as the GTX 780 Ti. So that is a backup in case the 780 Ti for some reason doesn't work, but it should. And those are really my only two options. We do have one honorable mention that if I can get it working, we might run with just for kicks and giggles. It is the GTX 590. I love this graphics card. It is so much fun to play with. It's a dual 
GPU with two 580s on board. And even though it's power hungry and older, it's quite a beast when you can get SLI working. The biggest problem is it doesn't seem to be working properly right now. Um, the OS crashes if you use either of these DVI ports, and this one has some sort of artifacting and won't run at the full resolution even with the proper drivers installed. So there you have it. Those are my parts lineup. That's the announcement of the challenge. Definitely check out these other guys' channels. I'm gonna be checking them out to see what I'm up against. Um, I think I've got a shot of winning, although I think some of them might pull an ace out of the hole too. So we're gonna have to see how this goes. This is gonna turn out to be quite an interesting challenge. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, follow us on our social media platforms, check out our Discord and our website to see if you wanna pick up some tech tested merch. I love this thing.